Let's go, boys. All right, with the booty, let's go. People need to understand Lisa and how hard she works. I just don't understand the critics, guys. I really don't. Let's go, y'all. How's it going, you guys? Elliot here. Hope you guys are doing okay. Okay. All right. I've already did Lisa's money performance video. As soon as I uploaded that, Lisa's money dance practice video just came out. And for a moment, I hesitated on if I should actually make content for this particular video. And, you know, I really thought about it, but then I started reading critiques about how the choreography for money wasn't difficult. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? So I had to, I had to break down this video. I had to, okay? So for all you like criticizers out there, let's go get something straight. This choreography is difficult. I'll tell you why. <laughs> and we're gonna go over this. I've already seen this video. I've already analyzed it. Let me make my remark for all those who say that this dance isn't difficult lisa always has difficult choreography we're going to talk about it right now here we go if you guys don't know who i am my name is elliot i am a choreographer and dance instructor if you guys want to see some of my work check out my social media okay it's not a bad gig but yeah you know check it out and uh yeah with that being said let's move on with lisa's money dance practice video they just start off right this choreography is uh, 2 minutes 55 seconds or this video is 2 minutes 55 seconds so we're looking at a 3 minute choreography compared to your average um, K-pop solo maybe this is like 30 seconds 20 seconds shorter by the way I think the performance video doesn't do this justice you see everything here. A lot of stuff was taken out. Okay, and I want to talk about everything, not just the choreography, but also the performance aspect of this dance. Okay, so let's start. I don't know why I shouldn't be making this video. But I need to, okay? We've already talked about Lisa's shoes in my last video. If you guys haven't seen my Lisa performance video, Lisa has very strong legs. I'll just say it as that. This time around, Lisa has more, I guess you could say conventional dance shoes. Choreography is by Lee Chung Lee and Rihata. You guys have told me, and by the way, I'm a huge fan of Rihata. Just watch, all right? In this choreography, you'll notice that Lisa advances a lot towards the camera. So there is a lot of clever staging as far as bringing her back while the audience doesn't notice and having her advance towards the camera again. So since the choreographer is creating this illusion that the performer is always moving towards the screen, it's giving this element of aggressiveness, this element of trying to convince the audience, trying to convince the viewer that everything that the performer is saying, everything that's coming out of the performer's mouth is influential. Because of that, moving forward in choreography makes it very difficult. And it's not just about this, but it's the type of movement. So watch this. So this march, having to high knee your legs, having to kick up your knee. And this is less than 30 seconds of the performance, okay? So doing this along with having to do muscle maintained choreography is even more difficult guys <laughs> like for i don't know how you guys think this is a difficult how this is an easy choreography okay and i want to talk about this moment this release moment where the dancers are able to release and the cadence of the music slows down Okay, and 
it's properly placed. Sorry if I'm pausing it all the time, but the way the choreographer choreographed this performance, choreographers choreographed this performance is that they made breathing sections for not only the dancers, but also for Lisa. So there are slow moments within the song. There's like low moments. Okay, so you have this moment right here where it's just a pure release. However, during these moments, the choreographer is giving the dancers and Lisa time to actually breathe. But let me talk about some other thing, okay? Let me blow your mind. <laughs> we talk about breathing here, okay? Lisa can't breathe. <laughs> Lisa has to sing. <laughs> so you tell me, is this is it is it difficult? Okay, we're not even we're not even a minute in. Okay, Lisa has to sing. But let me let me talk about another thing. Okay? Let me talk about another thing. We're not even a minute in. But I want you to pay attention to these dancers and I want you to remember that the choreographer designed Lisa to keep advancing forward, to keep advancing towards the camera, okay? Watch how they place the choreography team. Watch how they place them behind her and watch how it gives off the illusion that there's more people rounding up behind her as if there's an army. So there's this nice release. By the way, the gentlemen are doing an amazing job. Super articulated. And watch how the gentlemen step behind. Women come behind. Gentlemen fill up. And again, advance towards the camera. Okay? You guys. We're not even in the mi in a minute. <laughs> Let me say another thing. <laughs> I'm going in, guys, all right? I gotta address these things. There's a particular move in this that looks easy, but is actually very, very difficult to master. And it's that move. Okay, let's play it again. Play it again. This roll. Okay, now I want to talk about like the nuances of dance and how this dance could be simplified, but there are small increments of skill and muscle memory that you need in order to make this move look polished. And I think I need to slow it down. And the reason why I want to break down this move is because I started teaching younger dancers, like around the age of eight to 12 since 2017 and I will tell you this right now attention to detail is one of the most difficult things for a dancer to grasp so let's talk about this now I want you to pay attention to the dancer's head as it cocks back in this isolation as they roll up and clap okay so it's all about the isolation of the neck all right so if you introduce this move to a newer dancer not just young because i've also taught older dancers who were still fairly new introducing this move and all these moving parts within the body the neck is probably the hardest areas for new dancers to understand and somewhat seasoned dancers if they're not fond of this type of style of choreography too okay da da now it's not only the neck 
It is also the legs. If you watch how the back leg cocks back, I think with Lisa's wardrobe, it makes it look a lot less accentuated because the way her pants are like flailing. But if you look at the gentleman and if you're able to see some other backup dancers in the back, notice how their leg is fully extended. It's fully straight. So this along with rolling your arms, clapping with the music, and cocking your head back. And by the way, Lisa has to do this while singing. Roll. I want you guys to understand this as dancers that like I think nowadays everyone is so used to seeing the top dancers on social media that we forget about the average dancer. These dancers work really hard to create choreography and to master choreography this crisp. So not only do I got to give a big shout out to the choreographers for creating dope choreography, the backup dancers, YGX and Lisa for having to perform at the same time. So you tell me this is not even a minute in guys. By the way, look, okay, hold on. This part just like, what did you do? Let's go boys. All right, with the booty, let's go. I think that's Lee Chung Lee on the left. And again, with the neck isolation, ta, ta, so small of a detail. That part was sick. Okay, let's move on, all right? I think I talked too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm coming aggressive, okay? But y'all need to know. People need to know. People need to understand Lisa and how hard she works. Okay, now let's also talk about another thing too. And I think everyone could agree that emotion plays a huge part within dance, within performances, because dance is an emotionally driven art form. Am I wrong? If you watch Lisa's facial expressions throughout the whole performance, there is never a moment where she has a dull face unless the choreography asks for it. However, this dance as aggressive and as like powerful it is, there is never a dull moment in her face. Not only does she have to sing and perform this choreography, but she also has controlled emotions. And she displays it really well. Look at her face, like which, watch that grunge that she has. And then slowly singing into this like graceful mood. So. I just don't understand the critics, guys. I really don't. Let's go, y'all. And notice while she's doing the whole thing, the dancers are slowly coming behind her, slowly coming behind her, and she's always advancing forward. And every time she has to advance backwards, she makes small, minute steps that the viewer doesn't notice. So this is a real good part. So before we get into this dance line over here, and I have something that I kind of want to talk about too. Watch how she's making these small steps. Not even noticeable that she's actually moving back. So slowly again, giving that illusion that she's always moving forward when really she's just moving forward and slowly backward. Forward, slowly backward. Had to go shout out Rihata for this because I love that girl. And then the jump, dude. Let's go. We gotta run this back, bro. Run this back with the regular shoes. Okay. What are these Adidas pants, too? And by the way, these pants, man. Can I just like have a sit moment right here? These pants shouldn't be looking like that, dog. And like I said, facial control, guys. Okay. Oh, it is Lee Chong Lee. Okay, so this is two minutes. I guess I want to say like two minutes and 15 seconds into the choreography. So we're getting into like the last bit of the choreography. Last thing that I want to say in this choreography is 
This is the dance break. Probably the more tiring section of the dance. So just imagine having to do this difficult choreography and then having to finish off with this difficult choreography or with this tiring choreography. Imagine the stamina that you need to have for this, okay? I'm sorry if I'm pausing this. Musicality triples. Ta, 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 ta. And maintaining these marches, having to kick up your legs. And look at Lilisa's face. Does she look tired? Lisa's money dance practice video, okay? You know what? Let's watch the last minute together, okay? I just want to enjoy it. Hey, <laughs> dude, the guys look really good. Okay. That was Lisa's money dance practice video. You know what? I'm glad I did this video. All right. This is probably one of my bigger videos that I've had to dissect. And there's one thing that I want to say to, to, to the people who say that this dance was difficult. I feel like a lot of that has come from seeing her previous works, not only with uh, La Lisa, but also, and I think this is a big one, with Lily's films. I think the Lily films videos have showed a tremendous amount of what Lisa is capable of. However, I think we also need to put this into perspective. When it comes to the Lily films, we need to understand that those aren't her songs. She's not actually singing. She's just doing pure choreography. For the most part, it's a film to focus on her dance. With that being said, yes, you are able to put more difficult type of choreography within these dances because you don't have to sing. However, performance choreography is going to be different than just pure choreography. Performance choreography has a ton of elements that you need to think about, like singing, for example, breathing sections, for, for example, blocking, for example, how are you going to portray the dancer's emotions while they're singing and dancing? So because of that, of course, the choreography isn't going to be as difficult. However, I don't think we could say that this choreography is not difficult. If anything, I feel like because you have to sing, because you have to have emotional and facial control, this choreography makes it more difficult. So I think we need to talk about that. And I think we need to reevaluate some of this stuff. Hold your horses, people. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content of mine. If you have recommendations, comment them down below. And if you guys would like to help us out on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Elliot New Village helps keep this channel rolling and going. And for all you Patreon subscribers, you guys get access to our exclusive content index, elliotnewvillage.com. Hope to see you guys there. And hey, this is Elliot. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys.